Hi everyone, I'm Spira. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a video for you about healing your brain. So stick around and I'll explain a little bit more. One of the things that I have been doing in my healing practice for myself is besides the healing of the nervous system, one of the things that we need to do is to reset the brain. I don't know if that's even the right phrase to use, but because of trauma, it really, really messes things up. One of the ways we can get our brains back online uh, is by doing specific exercises, and a lot of them we call uh, bilateral, which is to, you know using both hemispheres of the brain. And one of the things that I like to do a lot is bilateral drawing, which is something I do at home. And I don't remember if I posted a video or not, I may. Uh, but anyway, I want to show you things that you can do with your, uh, with your body to actually get the hemispheres of the brain working together again. And so what we call it is brain hemisphere syncing. It reprograms the nervous system, the spinal muscles, and also some of the body systems to get them to all work uh, optimally. And there are a lot of different ways, so I'm going to give you five today. So five different ways to heal your brain, reprogram, reconnect, whatever you want to call it, but here we are and we're healing our brains. So I'm just going to move this. The first one is called a cross crawl. Here's the movement. So you're just going to start on hands and knees. I'll go at an angle so you can maybe see me a little bit better. And you're going to take one leg back and the opposite arm forward. So I've got my right arm forward and my left leg back. And then you're going to lower them. And then you're going to take the other ones out and then lower them. I'm just going to turn so I don't keep, I think I'm kicking the wall at this point. So this is all you do. It's very simple. And I believe the person who um, taught me this, if I'm not mistaken, I think they said you can do like 200 of these a day. Now, don't worry if it seems like a big number, but it's not a huge, difficult, exercise like you will not be breaking into a sweat doing this unless you go really fast <laughs> and maybe even put some ankle weights on or something but if you're just doing this as part of a brain sinking exercise then just take your time you can do up to 200 a day very very simple you could actually put a movie on if you'd like it's not something that you have to um, focus on any one specific thing while you're doing it. You can just take your time. You could even be on a phone call. <laughs> I'm not kidding while you're doing this. So just something to keep in mind. That's it. Cross crawl. I think you can do this, right? Okay. That's it for cross crawl. Number two is a what we call cross lateral locust pose. This is very similar to the cross crawl, except this one is actually laying on your belly. And some people might find this even a, maybe a little bit easier. I'm not really sure. But basically, you're just going to start on your belly, and you're going to do the same exact thing that we did. You're going to lift one leg and the opposite arm, and then you're going to lower, and then you're going to lift the other, and then lower back and forth as many times as you'd like at whatever pace you'd like You're just going to take your time cross locust pose very simple that's it number 3 is a cross lateral arc and a curl this one we are going to do on our back And by now, I think this whole process will look very familiar to you, 
because we're just doing what we did on hands and knees. So for, for this one, we're actually going to, you can take the hands, you can clasp them behind the head, and you're gonna bring in one knee, for me it's my left, and I'm gonna come up with my right elbow, and then back down. And then one, touch the other one, and then back down. Now this one, you'll definitely feel this one's a little bit more like an exercise than the other ones. You will definitely be feeling this in your abdominal muscles. And if you go at a decent clip, you might even work a sweat. <laughs> You're definitely going to get some sore muscles if you do too many, so maybe something to be mindful of. You can inhale as you Come back down and exhale as you <clears throat> touch the opposite knee. Simple enough, right? I'm already feeling that, so I'm going to take a break now. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Great job. Number four. Uh, this one doesn't have a name. Well, that I know of. I could be wrong. If it does, please let me know in the comments. Uh, and this goes for anything. Correct me. Anytime I'm wrong, please. I hate not being corrected, which is the opposite. I think most people hate being corrected. I would much rather be corrected so that I don't make a fool of myself in the future. So I hope that makes sense. Anyway, this one is uh, a little awkward, but it's a thing and it does help with the brain. So you're gonna hold your nose with one hand and then touch the opposite ear and then switch. So you're grabbing your nose with one hand, grabbing the opposite ear with the other hand. Funny, right? Well, maybe not funny, haha. -ha. Maybe funny, strange, and I shouldn't talk when I have my nose because it makes my voice sound funny. That's it. Something to try. And number five, one of the most basic yoga poses there is, is a twist. Notice I'm crossing one arm over the other so that I can take this twist. You don't have to hold it like you would a yoga twist. You can take your time and just do very gentle movements from one side to the other. Very simple, very basic. I also think if you went too fast, you might get a little dizzy, so maybe, maybe don't do that. <laughs> maybe just take your time with it. So that's it everyone, that's five different ways to help heal your brain and these can be for anything. This, can, this is great if you've had any type of traumatic brain injury, any type of trauma, emotional trauma, not just physical trauma because if you don't already know this, uh, emotional trauma actually does cause physical trauma to the brain. So we still need to heal our brains from that. And these are some really easy and gentle ways to do that. I do have a few more, so I might be making a part two video, but for today, we'll just stick with five and keep it easy, keep it light. Uh, please let me know in the comments below if you've tried any of these, if you already do these, and if there's something that you do that I haven't listed yet. I mean, I said I had a few more and it might be one of those, it doesn't matter, but let me know. And if there's anything else that you would like to see in my future videos, let me know also because I'm all about sharing information. Teaching is my thing, it's what I do, and I, would, I love, love, love sharing all of this with you. So thank you for joining me, thank you for tuning in and visiting my channel. If you found this valuable, uh, please click the like button, it will definitely help me show up better in searches, and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this, and also if you found it helpful, share it. I can always use more exposure to get the word out. So.